Welcome to another My Theme Shop video screencast. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to fix WordPress not sending email issue. Now, if you use WordPress, there's a good chance that you have a contact form or some sort of submission form. Maybe you have a get quote form where somebody send, puts information within a form or a contact area and they click send. And that information is sent via email to you or whoever is the re on the receiving end. Now, if the emails are not sending to you, obviously there's some sort of issue. And so we need to troubleshoot why are the emails not coming from your WordPress to you. Now, it doesn't matter if you're using a managed WordPress hosting provider or just a general web hosting provider. It's one of those things where even if they do not offer email support, it doesn't mean that you cannot send emails through WordPress. But if you're not receiving your emails, then there's a good chance that there's some sort of misconfiguration. This could be with a plugin. It could be with a server. It could be with a PHP issue. So let's go look at some ways to troubleshoot this. Now, one of the easiest solutions is to first make sure that you can even send emails on your server. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a plugin to test this for us. So while you're on your admin dashboard, simply go to plugins and add new. Now in the keyword box, start to type in the word check email plugin. Now, if you type in check email, it could auto correct and automatically let you know what you're looking for. So basically this check email plugin, we're going to install it and activate it. And what it's gonna do is it's going to simply test our WordPress installation and our server to make sure we can send emails. Now, once we have this plugin installed, we're simply gonna to go to the check email function under our tools in our menu section of our WordPress dashboard. Now we're gonna enter in an email address we're gonna send a test email to. Now it doesn't matter which email you put in, but typically if you have your own personal email or, or you know some sort of email that you can answer, that might be the best email to put. So you're gonna enter in that email address and then send test email. Now you should get a confirmation to let you know that it has been sent. Now it doesn't mean that it's been delivered, that's why you need to go to the other end wherever you're sending this test email to to see if you actually receive this email. And it should say something like test email from yourdomain.com or whatever it says. And you might want to check your spam or junk folder just in case. If you receive the email, that means that WordPress can send emails perfectly fine on your web server. So that is not necessarily the issue. It's something that's misconfigured. But either way, we know that there's something other than our web server causing the issue. Now, one of the most common reasons that you may not be able to send emails is because your WordPress hosting server is not configured to use a PHP mail function within its system. So it's one of those things where you may simply not be able to use the email function, but that doesn't mean that you won't be able to. We just have to find a different solution. One of the most common ways around this is using a Gmail SMTP. Now, although this sounds very technical, basically SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol and is actually an industry standard for sending emails. So if you're unable to use a PHP function, it's something where the SMTP uses proper authentication, which actually increases your email deliverability. So having a stronger connection and better and proper authentication makes it where your emails are going to go to you you know, in a better way. So that way you're not going to miss out on some emails that may get lost out there. You know, it's one of those things where the SMTP is going to make sure that you're going to get more emails delivered to you and with fewer errors involved. Now to configure this, one of the easiest way is getting the Gmail SMTP plugin. So again, we're just going to go to your dashboard and we're going to go to plugins, add new, and now we're going to look for the Gmail SMTP plugin. We're simply going to install it and activate it. And with this, what's nice about this is you can just use your normal Gmail address. Now, if you have Google Apps for work, this definitely helps a lot more, so that way you can use your domain name. But it's something where you can easily use your regular Gmail account and send out your emails. Now, once we have this plugin installed, we're simply going to go to our settings, and now we're going to look for Gmail SMTP. And now Gmail is going to want us to create an app and use API keys to use their SMTP servers. So this is very simple and all the instructions are right here to let you know exactly what you need to do. 
a lot of times email service providers use a variety of tools to reduce email spam. These tools often try to detect that an email is originating from the location it claims to be originating from. So for an example, if you're seeing an email and is completely legitimate, but for some reason the email provider is saying, hey, we do not know where this is coming from. They may not actually send email or they may not deliver it. It may just bounce right back to you. So again, it's one of those things where you may simply have to contact your web hosting provider if it's something where they do offer email support. It could be also if you're using cPanel, for an example, that they have a spam control set very high so that even if you're sending yourself a test email, it may not re- be receiving it to you because of some sort of keyword or something something involved in your email that's triggering the spam alert. Sometimes simply adding a link could cause this type of issue. So again, these are very easy things that you can overcome. It's just troubleshooting which one is going to work for you and fix your issue. Check out these other helpful videos from our channel. All the videos are in-depth and helpful to not only someone starting out with WordPress, but even to advanced users. Also, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button if you have not done so already. Thank you again for watching, and if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask them by clicking on the support link provided.